Hello, I'm Morgan Freeman, and welcome back to DSPN's breakthrough story, Unstoppable, the Mr. Dingo Dan story. Tonight we focus on the goals, the accomplishments, the man that Mr. Dingo Dan was and always will be. Here now, from some of those that knew him best. When I was starting out, he was always there for me, cheering me on. And when my speech impediment got worse, he never laughed. He even encouraged me to get this tattoo on my face. So when I need help with math or flying rockets, I can always find him on the basketball court, giving it his all. He has always been so hardworking and intelligent on and off the field. When he passed the Human Rights Act and saved the world, Joe and I were so proud. <laughs> I would love to date him and never break up with him. He's perfect. He was the guy you could always count on, always rely on, someone that could hit a ball like no other. I consider him to be a friend, a great friend, probably the greatest friend you could have, and a very powerful athlete. I wish I could give him a small load of a billion dollars just to see the change he could make. I've always found him so attractive, and I only date successful men, so I know what I... Oh, come on, this is the best part. I mean, oh, come on, this is the best part. Hello? Traded? But I'm the announcer, I'm not even playing! Hey there and welcome back to Snackable. Today on Snackable we're going to be trying Game Day Flavors by Hers once again. And it's interesting, the last time we tried this they had three, this time they only have two. Uh, and I made a comment the last time that I wish that they would make this flavor, and they did it. I don't know if they listened to me or if this was just common sense, but they did it, and I'm really hoping it's going to be great. This year for game day flavors, we've got pulled pork and Philly cheesesteak. Now, this was the one last year that uh, they had, like, just the cheese whiz, and I wasn't really impressed by it. I thought the flavor was fine, but there there wasn't really anything to write home about. And I said, they should really make a chip that tastes like a Philly cheesesteak. That would be great. Now, if I taste this and it tastes just like Cheese Whiz, it's getting a zero, okay? It'll be the first ever zero. Um, I'm not going to put up with that. Like, don't call it a Philly cheesesteak and then it doesn't taste like the steak and the cheese and all of it together. I don't want that. And this one just sort of makes sense, you know? Pulled pork, I would love to have pulled pork in a chip flavor. Will they be able to do it? I honestly don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. Not until we try it, at least, which is soon, I hope. Both of these are $4.99, and you can pretty much find them everywhere. I'm not sure why they only did two this time. Maybe they're, you know, starting to forget some things. Quesadilla. That is what I would like to see. Quesadilla. I think that would be wonderful. Maybe they'll listen to me again. But between these two, I'm going to have to say... Uh, let's try the pulled pork. Pulled pork, I think, is going to be the hardest to pull off. This one, all they have to do is make it taste a little different than Cheese Whiz, and they're in. This one, the, I mean, you have to make it taste like meat. That's not easy to do. It smells sort of like barbecue or ketchup chips, but really not like pulled pork at all, which um, it's, it's not looking good already. But let's give it a try. Let's be fair, all right? Let's, let's do it together. Yep, there it is. There it is. Okay, the pork flavor just came in after like five or six chips. Um, and it's usually coming in in the back end of the flavor. Um, but, you know, it tastes like it. It's not like a really overpowering pork, uh, which I wish it would be, especially with pulled pork, like you can just tell. It's more of a barbecue chip than anything, which is like, eh, you know, that's sort of sad. But these are honestly top-tier flavored barbecue chips. I would honestly give them an 8 out of 10. I think the taste and the barbecue flavor that was there was outstanding. Um, you know, really refreshing from all the constant barbecue that I at least eat with, um, you know, chips and whatnot. And it really just brought something new to the table. Um, I just wish it would have tasted more like pulled pork. Uh, honestly, I, I don't think it's uh, impossible to do. I just think you needed to work a little harder at it. Uh, and that was the only thing really holding it from greatness. Um, but if I was eating a pulled pork sandwich and I had some of those chips, that uh, that would not upset me one bit. Uh, those are so good. Get a bag of those. I'm telling you, they, they're really good. And up next, the Philly cheesesteak. This is either going to make or break my love for Philly. Probably break it. 
All right, so this isn't a good start already. Uh, it just smells like Cheese Whiz. Um, smells just like the chips from last time. Um, if it's not bringing... Uh, I'm, I'm telling you, if it doesn't bring another flavor, it's getting a zero. I, I hate to be that guy. I just have to. I'm, I'm just so sick of, like, let's not lie, okay? Like, you put a Philly cheesesteak on the last time, and it said just whiz, wit, or whatever it said. And now there's... It says it's a Philly cheesesteak. If it's not, I, I need to just try it, because I'm making myself look like a fool. But um, just with what I smell here, I'm not smelling anything else. So let's give it a try. I actually did eat a lot of those chips. Uh, I wanted to be fair, and I wanted to see if there was a flavor that would come out. At times, very few times, I thought I tasted onion coming through. Uh, but, like, just at the end, it was cheese whiz. Every single time. I have to be a man of my word. Uh, this gets a zero. Um, we did it before. The chip is fine. If you like cheese whiz, then get it. Um, it doesn't taste anything like Philly cheesesteak other than cheese whiz. And I'm sorry, like, I don't like being a jerk, but I, I mean, I was very, very clear. If it didn't taste like Philly cheesesteak and it just tasted like cheese whiz, you got a zero. Um, this pulled pork is, is, is great. You know, it's not enough of pulled pork. And this is the thing. Hers usually brings, like, the excellence in every single chip that they have. If they say something tastes like pork loin, it tastes like pork loin. Like, they just always bring that level of excellence, and it just feels like they're once again phoning it in. I Like, maybe they didn't, they couldn't figure out what they wanted to do. How about garlic wings? That would be really interesting. A garlic chip. Is there a garlic chip? I don't think there is. That's a free idea for you, hers. Not that you're watching this, but in case you are. But listen, try these for yourself. Don't just take my word for it. Um, you know, $4.99 is a little high. Uh, if you had to get any of them, I would say get the pulled pork one. I think those are really going to do nicely. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment down below where I should try next. You know, uh, plenty of other foods to try. I'm trying to find some more stuff that is spooky related and I haven't been able to find any. It could be too soon, but who knows? But thank you guys so much for watching and I guess we'll have to see what we're eating next time. Bye!